The baby, is that a tumor? Wow. <laughs> the shipping container, I can store all kinds of bodies. I, I mean, uh, she likes to sit underneath them. Oh, look. A 6,000 lumen flashlight right in my face. That's perfect. You can't make a cake without chicken menstruation. Good evening, epic Minecraft. Imposter, Amoga, Sussy, Fortnite, RuneScape, James, Chungus, Simpsters, Goofsters, Gafsters, and Pranksters. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Urban Rescue Ranch. I'm getting my egg collecting purse today. Also, we have no more trash at all. I removed those stumps right there all by myself with my own hand. Definitely without the help of a handsome man named Matt. The entire porch is very clean. I still have that comforter because it's going to go down at 28 degrees tonight, but I have a very exciting news for you guys. It just so happens that my own daughter and wife Karen has laid her very own first egg of 2022. So I came back inside to get this 6,000 lumen flashlight so I could get a good video for you guys. But first, take a look at these adorable little call ducks. I think this is gonna be the coldest night of the rest of the year. So I'm going ahead and filling up this nice little pool here in the barn. It's definitely getting really raggedy. Whoever sent these to my PO box, thank you so much. They worked really, really well. The ducks love them, everything loves them. But now we really, really need another one. So if you guys could please send one of these to the PO box or a bunch of them, I love you guys so much. Thank you, I appreciate you. Whoa, this is gonna blind me. Also, I cleaned the entire barn. Take a look. What's that? You didn't think Uncle Ben could clean this barn and make it look really, really nice? Aww, and look who's back here. Again, guys, I am not keeping this little possum name of Poppy against her will. I take the old rotten eggs and I give them to her in here. As you saw in the last video, when I was cleaning out the barn, I saw this adorable little creature and she was just inside our little food trough. So I just left this open kennel in the back here with this open thing of water for my ducks. Of course, I'm not keeping her here against her will. She's still a wild animal and she still serves a big purpose here on the farm, name of killing all of the rats and eating all of the ticks. That's right, you guys. While people do like to kill possums on their farm because they think that they kill the chickens, and sometimes they do, usually they're not that down bad. And in fact, possums kill more ticks than any other animal. No ticks means no Lyme disease, and old Uncle Ben has had Lyme disease because I'm from Western Pennsylvania. And it's real, real bad. Way worse than COVID. We also have Lil Remington and Donald Trump over there sleeping. Look at Queen. Oh, also check this out. I made this ramp here. It's adorable. Did it all by myself without any help from a man named of Brandon. Friend Brandon did come over and help me set this up. I went ahead and screwed in this thing so the Queen and Poggers can't just knock it off. But check this out, guys. I went ahead and I thought about bringing these guys into the barn tonight, but then I realized I could just rake up all this hay and make a little pile. But before I show you those adorable little new pigs that we got, take a look at these chickens. They all like to sleep up there on top of here, and they've clearly already just destroyed the top of this chicken coop. For some reason, I thought it would make sense to put two things of water in here, and although it does make sense, and I'm probably never gonna have to refill these, at least not for a long time, it is kind of weird, but I wouldn't say that that that's wasteful, but we do have a lot of chickens in here and we should be starting to get eggs. I'm also going to be collecting some of our I am Kamani eggs to brood because they brood at the same temperature and the same humidity as the Rhea eggs, believe it or not. It looks like we only have two tonight, but that's still pretty good. And I definitely don't see any more in here. I do see this adorable little spark plug. But now that we have the incubator set up and rolling, I'm gonna go ahead and start giving them this nice layer feed. This has a lot more calcium so that they can produce more eggs. Whoa, found this little shipping container. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Come on, son, come into the creepy shipping container with me. <laughs> yes, good boy, Poggers. Stay in the shipping container for forever. <laughs> Whoa, is that Morgan following Queen everywhere she goes? After putting these in the incubator, I'm gonna show you guys these adorable little pigs, and then I'm gonna go out and collect Karen's first egg. But look at Queen standing on this adorable new ramp. And yeah, my kitchen is perfectly clean. Okay, there they are, you guys. And also, fun fact, you can't make a cake without chicken menstruation. But okay, as you guys can see, these are my adorable little new pigs. And I'm going to get in there and tell you a little bit about them. A uh, 6,000 lumen flashlight right in my face. That's perfect. All right, now we're going to go ahead. And I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about these pigs. So each one of these pigs is a year old. Uh, this is a Duroc pig. Now, I told you guys in the last video, he was a, he was a pig that was a show pig. And now... 
he is uh, he was ready to be slaughtered. He got in tenth place. He's a very handsome boy, but nobody wanted to get him, so they were just going to go ahead and slaughter him. And I said, "Oh, I'll take him." And uh, now we've got him. And now this is Hamilton. He's an adorable little man. He's uh, from a friend of the channel. So he actually, actually, is not a friend of the channel. She had never seen us. She actually just looked up sanctuaries near us, and she lives like a, a few miles down the road. And she just saw my email on our website, so she emailed me. So I came out. It's really funny. She actually didn't even know we had a YouTube channel. But now we got little Hamilton here, who doesn't really like to be touched. But we have Petunia here, that's her name, Petunia, who's just like Pringle, our old little baby, and she loves to be scratching the belly. And if you start scratching her belly, she'll roll right over. So she was renting a home a little bit down the road, and then her landlord found out she had pigs, and she wasn't allowed to have those pigs. So now we have the pigs. We're gonna be very, very happy here, and uh, hopefully they're gonna be here for a long time. This little guy is gonna slowly warm up to me. But what's funny is these guys are all about a year old, and look at the difference in sizes. This is a Duroc, and I think this is a Juliana, but I think it has dwarfism. And this is a pot belly pig, as you can see from the big fat belly. Now come on in here. Now, because this little guy was a show pig, he's super, super friendly. And he still has this tag that we're gonna eventually remove. And then this little girl is also super friendly because she was a house pig. She lives in the house and her favorite food is peppermints. This little guy's a little bit less friendly, but that's just because he has that kind of personality. Eventually though, if I spend more and more time with him and I scratch him right here behind his ear, give him all kinds of little hugs and I cuddle with him, he's gonna love me. Now every pig has a special food that'll make him love you. And for this one, it's peppermints. For this guy, it's literally anything. But right here in this little spot here in between their bodies is the warmest spot in the entire farm. And these guys don't really need a whole lot of shelter because they're warm, giant adult pigs. And because of that, I'm gonna put little Hamilton right here in the middle. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and putting him right there is gonna be the warmest place for little Hamilton. Okay, let's go get Karen's egg before that flashlight dies. <laughs> By the way, there's my new shipping container. Ever heard of it? And if you check out right here, you guys, there is a fresh new Karen egg. Check this out, you guys. Look at that. Karen's first egg of the season. And Kevin's not even awake to kill me for it. Well, let the record show this is February 2022. February 2022. This is someday in February, mid-February. This is a beautiful Karen egg. Take a look at this, you guys. The first Karen egg of the year. Wow. Look at that beautiful yellow coloring. I think it was just laid. Yeah. What I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to put it right in here because it is going to freeze tonight and we don't want that egg to be damaged. I'm gonna put this guy right in here and I'm gonna take him right back to the incubator. We're gonna put him in there and then we're gonna increase the humidity to 50% and then we'll be ready to go. Sorry, Kevin, but it's too dark for you to attack me. <laughs> Goodbye, Kevin. Also, yeah, mom, I got a shipping container. What's great is with the shipping container, I can store all kinds of bodies. I, I mean, uh, animals in this container here. We're gonna put our nice solar panels at the top there and then inside's gonna be our power bank with an enclosed area for animals as well. Also, the baby has gotten much, much smarter. As you can see, he knows to go right back in the barn on a nice cold night like tonight. This man is not only perfect, but he's precious. He's my son and I adore him. Thank you, baby. Thank you for being here. I love you, I appreciate you. Here's a little kiss for your peck. A little kiss for your neck. A little kiss for your mouth. Another little kiss for your mouth. A little kiss for your mouth. But yeah, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching my video. Everyone's happy and calm tonight. Tonight's a wonderful, wonderful night. Poppy is eventually gonna come out and walk around, but she spends most of the day sleeping in here anyways. The baby, no! The baby, no! The baby, is that a tumor? The baby, Mr. Beast, tumor, James Charles has got is sick, got in the hospital, gone wrong, cops called. The baby Minecraft gaming with dream, cops called, gone wrong, gone sick. Look at this adorable little baby boy. Don't mind if I do. Mwah. But all right, buddy. Love you. Appreciate you. Okay, it's starting to get up there. Whenever we're ready, I'm going to go ahead and put this adorable little boy in there and we'll be good to go. And you guys thought I wasn't going to show you my adorable son, Big Ounce. Big Ounce and his adorable little wife who's hiding there underneath him. She likes to sit underneath him. Oh, look at her. Oh, she's so precious. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. Look how precious these two are, you guys. Look at them. Oh, my. Okie doke. I'm going to give one for you. And I'm going to give one to you. See, she took it. She took it from my hand. I told you guys, this is progress. They're getting better and better. 
each and every day. But thanks so much for watching my video. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Oh, and I'll see you in the next. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Hey, guys. Uncle Ben here from high school. Just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video. I love you. I appreciate you. How's about you go ahead and leave a little like for old Uncle Ben, huh? <laughs> Feeds me. Feeds me with those likes.